In this lesson, we are going to talk about the angle addition formula for the sine function. In order to derive this formula, we are going to do some geometric construction. We'll begin with this blue right triangle. This angle here is a right angle. And the length of the hypotenuse of this blue triangle is one unit. Then let's draw another right triangle in such a way that the hypotenuse of this new yellow triangle is equal to the length of the base of the blue triangle. Again, this yellow triangle is a right triangle. Then let's drop a line segment from one of the vertices of the blue triangle perpendicular to the base of the yellow triangle. This means that this line segment also is parallel to one of the sides of the yellow triangle. And then from this vertex of the blue triangle, let's draw a line segment perpendicular to the other line segment that we have just drawn. So this angle here also is a right angle. Now from this figure, we are looking at four geometric figures. The first one is this blue right triangle. The second is this yellow right triangle. The third one is this rectangle that we just formed here. And the last one is this small triangle, which is also a right triangle. Now let's put some label to our figure. So let's call this as point A, this point as point B, and this point here as point C. The acute angle formed by this blue right triangle is denoted as alpha. Then let's call this point as point D, and the angle formed here by this yellow triangle also is denoted as beta. Then let's label this point as point E, and this point as point F. We know that the hypotenuse of the blue right triangle is one unit, and we know also that FCDE is a rectangle, that means side FC is parallel to side ED, and we can extend this side ED to include side BD. So segment BD is parallel to segment FC. So we can now think of segment BC as a transversal that cuts these two parallel lines. And because of that, if this angle here is beta, this angle here also must be beta because alternate interior angles formed by two parallel lines cut by a transversal are congruent. Now, since we have here a right angle, and we know that this angle is beta, then the measure of this acute angle therefore here must be the complement of beta and has a measure of 90 minus beta. So this acute angle has a measure of 90 minus beta. We know that this angle here is right angle and so we can now compute the measure of this angle. This 90 minus beta plus 90 plus this angle must be equal to 180 degrees. The measure of this angle therefore must be beta. So that beta plus 90 minus beta equals 90 plus this right angle which is 90 degrees. So 90 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. What we would like to prove in this problem is we want to show that the sine of the sum of this angle alpha and angle beta is equal to the sine of alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. But based on our figure, what is the sine of alpha plus beta? So this is alpha, this is beta. Alpha plus beta is this angle. And so we are now looking at triangle ABE. So in this right triangle ABE, the sine of alpha plus beta is equal to the opposite side AE over the hypotenuse, which has a measure of one unit. And AE over one is just AE. Therefore, the sine of alpha plus beta is equal to the length of segment AE. But from our figure, notice that the length of segment AE is the sum of the length of segment AF and segment FE. We already know that the length of segment AE is equal to sine alpha plus beta. If we can show that the length of segment AF is equal to sine alpha cosine beta, and the length of segment FE is equal to cosine alpha cosine beta, then 
will be able to prove this identity. So that is now our goal. We need to show that the length of segment AF equals this and the length of segment FE is equal to this other expression. Let's do that. First, let's consider triangle ABE. Triangle ABE, and from this triangle, we know that the sine of alpha plus beta, which is this combined angle, alpha and beta, is equal to the opposite side AE over 1, which is just equal to AE. So we now have the first value that we need. That is for the left side of this formula. Let's consider triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is the blue right triangle. With respect to alpha, the sine of alpha is equal to the opposite side AC over the hypotenuse 1. So we now have here sine alpha is equal to AC. Also, with respect to alpha, cosine of alpha is equal to the adjacent side BC over the hypotenuse AB, which has a measurement of one unit. So BC over one is simply BC. Therefore, cosine of alpha is equal to the length of segment BC. We need these two values in the next page as we continue deriving the formula. So let's move to the next page. Now this time, let's consider triangle CBD. Triangle CBD is the yellow right triangle. In this yellow right triangle, the sine of beta, beta is this angle, is equal to the opposite side CB over the hypotenuse BC. But we know that BC is equal to cosine alpha, so therefore sine beta is equal to CB, which is the opposite side, over this BC, which is equal to cosine alpha. And solving now for CD, multiply both sides by cosine alpha, and using symmetric property of equality, we have CD is equal to cosine alpha sine beta. But we know that the length of segment CD is equal to the length of segment FE, because what we have here is a rectangle. So therefore, FE is cosine alpha sine beta. Next, let's consider triangle A. FC. We are looking at this small right triangle at the top. With respect to this angle that has a measurement of beta, the cosine of beta is equal to the length of segment AF over the hypotenuse AC, which we know is equal to sine alpha. So therefore, we have this ratio AF over sine alpha, where sine alpha is equal to this AC which is the hypotenuse of this small right triangle. And again, multiplying both sides by sine alpha and applying the symmetric property of equality, we arrive at AF equals the product of sine alpha cosine beta. Now, let's take a look at all these values and summarize that in the next page. So we have all these results based on this reference figure. Based on our figure, we know that the length of segment AE is equal to the length of segment AF plus the length of segment FE. But we know that AE is equal to sine alpha plus beta, and we know that the length of segment AF, this part here, is equal to sine alpha cosine beta plus the length of segment FE is this value, cosine alpha sine beta. Notice now that this result is exactly the identity that we would like to prove. So at this point, we have just proven that sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta. And this completes our proof.